piece is called um, Bending the Da at the moment. It's a working pro progress. The, the, the meaning of that, actually, Da is a heroic note. Each note on the um, sitar on, on, in Indian music actually has a, um, a feeling behind it. Um, and so, for example, the tonic, which would be D in my case, because that's the, the way I've tuned it, the D is infinity. Um, the third note, which is an F, would be um, peace. And the ta is heroic, so I thought bending the ta, which you bend the string on the sitar, bending the ta. The meaning of the word raga means to colour the emotion. So what basically I'm doing as a musician is imparting my feeling to whoever's listening. I'm just really pleased that the, I know there's a lot of controversy about the Olympics coming um, to England, but I'm really happy. In my lifetime, I'm not going to get it. And for me, I feel that what I write, I can represent sort of the British Asian as well as traditional English music and how it all works and, and the whole thing about peacefulness, working, uniting together and all this. The whole thing is really exciting for me, so I'm really pleased that I'm doing it. I actually, I had to really think about what makes me happy, the feeling that I get when I see someone win something or like the, you know, all the different countries coming together and, and the passion behind it all. I've got so many bits and pieces all in various files and um, which I've written specifically for this and, and what I'm going to do then a lot of it will be discarded and um, kind of put a basic structure on it. And then, of course, I've got the Imagine Village, um, who I've been working with probably for the last six years now. What will happen is I will put the piece together and then throw it out to everybody to kind of, we'll, we'll get together as we have written with our last album. Um, we'll sit in the room, locked up for a, a few days and, and just the, the piece will then evolve and everybody will have their input. Um, it's very much a, a collaborative process. How it evolves when everybody gets together is what's really exciting to me. I mean, I, I, I have all these ideas um, and then I put them together and then someone will say, well, why don't you put that bit there or can I play this over it? And, and that's what the, the, whole, the, the way the whole thing gets everybody's little bit of passion and whatever, but the way it all comes together is what I like. There's always the fear that it's never going to work. I do really like the collaborative process and I always think something better comes from it because energies from everybody, it just, the way it all kind of comes together, it's always going to be something good. Yeah, I mean, you have a theme within Indian classical music, which is a framework within which you, you work, and then, um, and you kind of weave in and out of it like you do with, with folk music, or as I've learned. You know, but the strength of the melodies is what I really like. I think a lot of music at the moment is very beat based, and I think that's a shame because I think melody needs to be brought back into the forefront again. 